Hey guys, in case you couldn't tell, I'm kind of in a vehicle, driving, but we go on a field trip today, and it's going to be kind of montage ish like Sabrina's did, and I apologize if the camera shakes. I'm just driving through California, yay. So, this is my library, we're just coming up on it. We have a bookstore, cafe, and there's like this patio area, and it's just, it's a really nice place, um, especially at this time of day, because it's kind of dusk. So now we enter the library, and I'm awkwardly kind of just trying not to be, you know, there. Anyways, this is our children's section, which is probably the coolest part of the library. It's like they blast it open, this wall to discover, you know, the untold treasures within and the architecture is really interesting you know you have these um, columns made of books and we're, if we mosey on over here we have a derelict pirate ship uh, which is you know really goes with the whole spirit of discovery and whatnot and we have the mast and there's Captain Hook and Peter Pan and all these wonderful children's books just kinda hanging out there and then you know the the ground is really squishy and foamy and it's really fun to stand on and there's Ariel uh, and the mast again which I love because it's just so cool and it's really fun to just sit here and read and there's Curious George books and some other uh, children's books and there's a lot of paintings here of uh, different children's stories and uh, such right there like there's um, I think like Little House on the Prairie and Dr. Doolittle and whatnot and then the audiovisual is supposed to be like Captain Nemo's submarine so yeah these little pictures like you're actually underwater which is probably one of my favorite parts out of the children's section just because I think the ocean is really cool and uh, yeah so over here we have the young adults which of course I couldn't help going to because you know John Green and whatnot and I decided to find any of his books and the only one there was in Abundance of Catherine's which is the only one I haven't read so um, yeah I'm gonna need to do that soon <laughs> and then we move on to some of the architecture it's just I don't know it's really interesting they definitely tried to make it's very artsy and these are all like little plates and just shards of tile and it just looks really cool. Uh, upstairs uh, we have you know the research reference group study rooms and whatnot um, and I just think it's like the chandelier is really pretty and the people at the reference desk are I don't know sometimes they're nice sometimes they're not but as you can see we have a lot of areas to you know sit and study and read and whatnot, and then there's a view out the windows, and hey, well, hello there, how's it going? There's my reflection. And so now we're going back downstairs. Um, and I mean, like, I don't know, whenever I come to the library, I just feel so much better because we have such a beautiful library, and I, I just really think it's so wonderful how invested we all are in it. And it just, I mean, the fact that I come to, back from spring break and go to my, you know, hometown library really says something about how wonderful it is and uh, just, I just love it, honestly. So yeah, that's, that's my library, guys. Just kind of scooting on back to my car. Well, it's not really mine to share with my older brother and why I look really blue right now. But, yay, wonderful Saturn. I love you and your manual locks, but I left on locks on Silly. I don't want to kill this camera, so I'm just going to end it here. I also don't want to get pulled over. So I will see you guys next week, or you'll see me. And Amanda, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, montage. Woo!